Introduction to Lab View, Part 3, Numbers. We've already worked with the numeric palette before. So let's go back to the numeric palette and grab a numeric control. Just like in math class, there are different kinds of numbers. And you can see that this regular numeric control can do all sorts of numbers. It can do positive numbers, negative numbers, and even decimals. If you look at the block diagram, the corresponding numeric control has an orange block, meaning that it is a rational number. If you control click on it and go to representation, you can change it to, let's try an I-32. An I-32 will be a blue block on the block diagram and will only let you do integers in the box. So if you even try typing in 9.5, it'll automatically change it to a 10. You may have seen a Venn diagram like this in your math class. It shows the different kinds of numbers. We can have whole numbers, integers, and rational numbers uh, in LabVIEW along with some others. Let's grab another numeric control that can be a rational number. And the reason why this is all important is because decimals make sense for money and other things. Integers make sense for others. For example, Let's say we wanted to have a control that stood for the number of cats in a house. Does it make sense to have 7.5 cats? No, not really. So make sure that you try and choose the correct representation for your numbers so that it makes the most sense. All right, let's try another numeric control and see what we can get. So far we have integers and rational numbers. Let's see if we can create a whole number. So unsigned means no sign, meaning it won't be negative. So we can only put in positive numbers into this one. This one is going to be a whole number control. I'm trying right now to make this one negative, but it won't let me. So this is a whole number. So I'm trying to make this negative and it's not working. We can also make the integer negative just like we can in math class. Let's take a look at other numeric types that we can make by changing the representation. Some of these have more to do with how much information the computer will store. Complex numbers you will see in Algebra 2 or Pre-Calculus. We won't look at those today. Let's try an unsigned byte. A byte is small. It's only 8 bits. It is only going to be able to hold so many numbers. And you can see that it won't go above 256 it only holds so much information. You'd have to change the size to get a different number. Most times you're not going to have to worry about this. Most times you're only going to worry about whether you want an integer, a rational number, or a whole number. Let's go back to the block diagram and look at the numeric palette there and see all the options that we have. We have all the operations. 
we have constants. So if you need to use pi to find the circumference or area of a circle, it's there. We have logarithms. We have other constants that are used in physics. We have positive and negative infinity. We have random numbers. So there are a lot of things in here that you can do with numbers.